What if I got, for example, it's not here. I view it. I'm looking for, you know, like a under hole control, valve control, so I can go for my sweeps. You know, if you had it close to the right hand to be slapped, I can go in for single leg X, X spot, and play all the open back games that you usually play, right? But uh, we will start the week from, from a situation that is like actually um, from a bad position, you know? So uh, going back to the drill that we just did before, but it's not like that. The leg drag. Guys, this, I know it's when you're practicing, two things. It's an important thing for us to learn and do better the leg drag position so we can control the hips better and therefore pass guard a lot better. Not always you're going to be able to control someone's head. So if you're having difficult, difficulty passing, a lot of it could be because you're having trouble controlling the hips. And the guard reposition from the bottom here, you know, now the, your partner is allowing you to recover. And you still, we still have a lot of trouble there. So it's important that you pass my guard, leg drag, my legs are all on the same side. And I'm up here. Now I need to bring my legs towards me to create space to come back, which usually will allow you one of the options that will allow you to get to butterfly guard, right? In butterfly guard, we have all the hooks we can play, but there's a lot of other things that can happen from here as well. You can have control of the bowler. Bowler drags, you know? Uh, if I'm trying here to get my underhook, and Eric is able to underhook me and control my hips, you see? Usually, the person that is trying to pass butterfly guard, one of the main things that we've been doing here is flatting me on the ground here, so now my butterfly guard is dead. And this is the worst nightmare of someone playing butterfly guard, right? So going back there a little bit, let's say I'm here, Eric was able to underhook and put my hips on the ground, all right? I will try to control his belt on the same side of the, of the knee that is pointing out, right? If I go here, one important detail, if I leave space, he can, he can jump over the leg, and he already passed my guy, he's going to load my hips. Let's say that happened, what should I do next? Brain, and start recovering. So we go back to the same drill as we were before, all right guys? Uh, so now I'm here, to avoid that, all I need to do is to connect my elbow with my leg here. So I know that Alice is not going to jump on this side. If he jumps on this side, well, most likely I will be able to follow and sweep him, you know, because there's no gap there for him to pass. So he control my hips and I close. So jumping is not an option. I'm not worried about him passing that way, okay? If you start passing to the other side, my hook will help me. So I'm, I'm, I'm not in a very comfortable position, but I'm quite safe here, right? So control, my bottom leg, I have to free. I have to be able to free the left foot, okay? Now guys, the important thing about the butterfly guard sweep from here, with him having the under hook, is that I, I will be very hard. I most likely won't be able to lift with this hook. It will be very heavy here. So what do I do? I keep the belt. As I drop on my shoulder, I bring Eric to me. You see, I pull him as much as I can to me and keep this connection here. Now my bottom leg will do the work. Look, I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna start lifting my hips. You see how my hips are the same height as him now? So now there's no more lifting. I'm just going to start pushing towards him. Step all the way across. I like to keep this hook so he cannot close half guard on me as I'm getting there. And now I can pass. And I'm inside control. All right? So I think it's an alternative option for when uh, butterfly guard doesn't go as we plan. It's under hook and switch, right? Where else do I use that from sometimes? If I have inside control here, and I'm defending myself, I start trying to recover that, and I can bring over one hook. Uh, if I have that hook, I'm back here. Same situation, all right? Or if you got the control, if you get the control, control, shoulder, bring into me. Connecting my elbow with my knee. Bring my hips out and up, and start sweeping. As I sweep, I let my body go to the other side, still controlling the belt, remove the hook, and I'm inside control. All right? Questions? We we'll practice. One, two, three.
boca, I'm, protect, I'm protecting myself. I close the gap because I know the danger pass for me here is him getting over his back. So I close the space and I'm here. I'm blocking this hand just because I'm close to the bar. So that will make it really hard for me to, to switch. Right? So control sometimes I just block my hand here. Right? Shoulder. Important thing here now, I need to bring my hips to the same height as his hips. I pull him to me and take my hips out from the middle. Now he is really adding quite a bit of pressure to push me out. It's very hard. Yeah. Now I push him all the way to the other side. Roll on my forehead. Turn out this way. As soon as I come out here now, what I'll do? I will bring my outside knee in this belt. I'll come up for the knee on the belt, right? Naturally, you will start trying to push my knee. As soon as I put him pushing, I will go with my hand inside his arm. I like to use both hands pulling that shoulder to me, okay? My, my outside leg, guys, I can be here, just for base, but there's not much pressure on him. When I feel that he's here, I like to step back and drive forward. So I'm pushing my knee into him now, even though he's sideways. You know, like, I'm not pushing from the top down, I'm pushing from the side forward now. Okay, so this is my control here. Why? Because my, my goal is to attack his arm. So I want him to be as much on the side as possible. So control here. Now usually, most of us, that's how I've, le I've learned to, step over to the other side and switch to the other. The problem is during this transition here, there is zero weight and pressure on him. It's very loose everything here now. Even if I'm doing this correctly. And while I'm grinding on my knees to switch here, Eric, I find, I'm not sure, yeah, I believe most of you guys will find as well, it's really difficult to keep pressure on that transition. So what we will do, we will skip that step to the other side. As I get here, I will pull the shoulder to me, drive with my leg pushing forward, and also I can keep my knee there for a little bit longer, hand on the mat, and my right foot will come as a hook without stepping on the mat here. Pay attention on my left hand as well, because it will connect with my leg. So here, step, and I connect my hand with my leg. You see, so both of my knees have to end pointing up to the ceiling. And I connect here, which gives me a lot better control if Eric tries to find a little bit there. I have really good control. Second arm can go in and finish the armor. All right, so back again just on the armor here. I will inside control. Up and up. I already go in. Because I know as I put my knee, he will push. Bring him to me, drive forward. Hand. Pull on the back of his neck, connecting my hand with my leg. Okay? Now here, I know I have good control of him. I can bring the arm and finish. 